everybody in our state and our country acknowledges your skill and ability and your excellence. Encouraging words from Illinois Governor Pat Quinn as he addressed the 50th anniversary Skills USA Illinois competition in Springfield. Governor Quinn thanked the local and the Midwest Territory for organizing the Automotive Service Tech Contest for high school and post-secondary students. It's a blast. It's, it's something different and uh, it's a competition against some of the best kids in the state and uh, to consider myself one of them, it's, it's pretty humbling, but it is pretty difficult, yeah. 60 students rotated through 20 stations, spending 15 minutes at each stop. At this station, the students are learning measurements and how to use the correct tools for the correct jobs. They had a belt, a belt stung, they had to measure the top, the middle, and then the bottom of it. Um, they had a camshaft, and you measured the lobe on the camshaft, so when it turns, you can measure the differences. Hey, remember, you do not lose points for being incorrect. You only gain points for being correct. Local 701 members served as judges after getting sponsors to donate the use of cars, trucks, equipment, and supplies, all to make sure these career and technical students use their skills to prepare for the workforce. They even had a job interview. It really helps me get to do, like, uh, more hands-on experience and get to do different things. There's electrical. The interview definitely helps. The next day, the top three high school students received awards. Michael Camelli of Elk Grove High School came in first and will represent Illinois at the national competition. From the land of Lincoln, I'm Tanya Hutchins for the Machinist News Network.